if you look at the geography of the Philippines, there's really no other country before Philippines that would slow down the typhoons. So as the typhoon gets worse and worse, we get hit worse and worse. Philippines is number three in vulnerability to climate change. What I normally would encourage people is the private sector should work closely with the government. SM Investments is one of the largest Philippine conglomerates. We've been around for over 60 years. We have three core businesses, mainly retailing, banking, and properties. Over the past 60 plus years, sustainability is something which SM has had as a culture. It's something which we as a group has been practicing from the very beginning. We were among the first also who introduced the um, sewage treatment plant when it was not even required yet. Most of them we do it for flushing of toilets, for landscaping and also for the, our cooling towers, which, by the way, air-conditioned cooling towers consume almost 60% of water through evaporation. BDO is the largest bank in the country, and it's one of the leaders in green finance. It's very active in financing renewable projects, one of its main focus really supporting the green energy program initiatives of the country. We have been working with um, BDO through financing no, some of our, our major projects. If not all, I think they're present in most of the projects that we have in, um, in Aboitis Power. Well, Aboitis Power is involved in power generation and power distribution. The Department of Energy has, um, is driving actually the development of renewable energy through the National Renewable Energy Program. We take into account the entire impact on the environment, including, let's say, you know, providing sustainable energy, renewable solar powers, water treatment facilities, and waste recycling. We also provide, like for example, for our malls, we make the malls more like a community center which also then becomes like an area for relief effort if ever there's any sort of um, calamity that occurs. We also provide support in terms of education and training uh, and health care because at the end of the day, it's, it's the sustainability of the community that continues to provide the growth for our businesses. Biodiversity is very important in everything that we do uh, as a country and as individuals. For example, in our Hamila Coast development, we work very closely with the WWF in terms of reforestation and also culturing more mangroves in the area. SM's vision for its Hamila Coast project is for it to become premier sort town development that incorporates uh, sustainable practices in its planning, construction, and uh, operations. We planted around 40,000 native trees in the area and we protected it. This Samilo mangrove forest is considered to be one of the largest here in uh, uh, the province of Nasugbu, Batangas. These mangroves uh, absorb six times more carbon. Uh, so they are good uh, pollutant sink. Yeah. Another importance of uh, mangroves is um, they serve as nesting grounds for different species of birds and uh, fishes. Also for some migratory birds, they serve as their nesting grounds. Back in 2009, 
uh, we took the initiative of having three of our coves as uh, uh, declared as marine protected areas. It helps stabilize climate change and that's what really matters most. With SM, this project brought about life again in this area and it is our commitment in these sustainability practices that entice clients to come here and invest, live here, enjoy the surroundings, and enjoy modern living in harmony with nature. There is this climate change that's looming over our Mother Earth. If we can contribute no matter how little, and if I can get everybody to be aware of it, I think we will make an impact. It's never too late. We expect that our, um, our, our portfolio ratio between renewable energy and thermal would be almost one to one. Sustainability is very important because for a business to be able to continue to grow and last for many, many years, it's very important that the business support the community in a sustainable way because in the end, it's also the community and the environment that sustains the high growth of our businesses.